always saying friends it's Fola here and you're welcome back to my channel today's tutorial will be on how to um, make an a-line dress a short um, a-line dress with pockets and I will also be using a flutter sleeve so before I go on guys are you subscribed to my channel if you're here to subscribe click on the subscribe button down below yes click on it right now just a tap <laughs> and subscribe to my channel also turn on the post notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified each time i upload a new video which i do every week yeah <laughs> so without further ado guys let's get started I already constructed my um, arm hole. This is the front arm over. This is the back arm hole. I have a detailed video on how to achieve a perfect arm hole, which the link is in the description box below. Kindly check it out. So this is my starting line. And from there, I have half of my arm hole, which is seven and three quarter inches. Then I have my waistline, which is 16 inches right here. Now, this um, outfit will not have a zipper. That is why I have my um, fabric folded together for both the front and the back pattern. So I have, I, I, I folded it into four because I'll be drafting both the front and the back together. But if you want to have zipper allowance to your own, that means you have to fold them separately and add your zipper allowance, maybe one or one and a half inches zipper allowance to the back uh, bodies. Then you place your front on it. Then you you um, insert your measurements. That is if you want to add your zipper allowance. But for this, I won't add zipper allowance and. I won't add that. And my hairline will be starting from my waist um, line. My hairline, that means I will, I will connect it from my waist line to the hem. So if you want it to be a bit tapered towards your hips, that means you have to insert your hip line. Then you connect it from your hip line to, your, to the hem. But mine will be starting from the waistline to the end and the length of the um dress i'm working with including um allowance to fold it in is 43 inches 43 inches which is what i have right here so let's get started now the first thing i will do that's already inserted quarter of mine um, bust measurements. The bust circumference I'm working with is 34 inches and quarter of that is nine and quarter inches which I have here. Then for my waistline the waist circumference I'm working with is 29 inches and quarter of that is seven and quarter inches. But because I will not be having zipper on this outfit, I have my I have to um had enough ease allowance so that the waist area will be able to pass through the bust. So I will add one inch ease allowance to the waist um, line to the waist area. So seven one quarter inches plus one inch that is eight one quarter inches which i have here can you see now for the boss i will had one inch seam allowance size seam allowance to join both sides together for the waist as well one inch size seam allowance now before i connect to the end okay i forgot to tell you the um amount of fabric i folded i use the largest part of my circumference that is my hips divided by four plus four inches because this is a short 
a line dress. If you are making um, a long a line dress, then you can add between six or seven inches to quarter of the largest part of your body. So what I folded all together is fourteen inches. Now, before I connect it to the M, let me connect from the bust to the waist first. So this is my actual measurement. Well, this is the seam allowance, the side seam allowance. Can you see? Now I will connect to the hem. And before I do that, I will come up by one and a half inches at the hem because I don't want a sharp edge at this point. So one and a half inches. And I will connect from the side seam down to where I have. Let me use a long ruler. So now I will take my hip curve and connect in a coffee manner because I don't want a sharp edge at the hem just connect it to the hem line can you see so when I'm cutting now to be in this manner then I'll connect to now for my neckline for the neckline i'll be working with because i don't have um zipper on this outfit i will make use of a wide um of a neckline that is wide enough to <laughs> for my head to pass through or is it to pass through my head or my head to pass through so I will be using the neck width of four inches. Yeah, four inches is okay. So to be on the shoulder slope, four inches and for the depth, so four inches for the um, width. So for the depth, for the back, I will use one and a half inches for the back neckline for the depth, one and a half inches. While for the front, I will use four inches for the depth for the front two. Then I will connect. So this is for the back neckline, which is one and a half inches for the depth, and this is for the front. So this is for the front neckline while this is for the back neckline now i will cut it out so before i cut out i will have half inch um shoulder allowance here i'll just go up by half inch from the shoulder just for an allowance to join both shoulders together I already added um, allowance to fold the hem. So this is to join both shoulders together. So I will cut out at this point. First, because I'm drafting both the um, front and the back together, I'll be cutting the back neckline and the back arm hold first so this is what i have now i will remove the back and 
cut out the front arm hole and the front neckline. So, this is what I have for the um, front pattern. Now, let me put this on top so I will know where my um, waistline is. Now, this is my waistline. Let me give it a notch at that point. Then, for my um, pockets, the location of where I want my pocket to be is um, three and a half inches from my waistline. So three and a half inches is right here. So my pocket will start from here. First, let me cut the pocket. So, okay, before I cut the pocket, let me cut the, the facing because I'll be finishing the neckline with a facing. You can use a bias strip, but I will finish up the neckline with a facing. Make sure um, the center front here aligns with your facing on fold with your fabric you fold for your facing. Just make it three and a half inches because I have to fold it in at the hem. Now this is for the front facing. Now let me let me cut for the back now this is for the back facing Now let me cut the pocket. I think this is the this is the wrong side. So now cutting the pocket. Just place your hand in this manner. Now, when you are cutting it out, make sure you add allowance. Now you use this, this is for one pocket and I will use this to cut for another one. So I have for the two pockets right here. Now going over to the 
stitching the first thing i'll do is to go and turn the neckline with the facing so i'm going to turn the neckline with the facing for both the front and the back so i'm going to do that now so guys already finish up the neckline with the face him so this is the wrong side and this is the um right side so the next thing i will do now is to go and um fix the pockets to both the front and the back so since i already notch where the um, where my waistline is so I'll just measure three and half inches from that point which is where I will fix my pockets so I will take let me get my um, pins so this is the right side so right side will be facing each other starting from the three inches point which is right here can you see so i have let me confirm if it is three inches three and a half So three and a half inches there. Also on this side, three and a half inches. This is the right side. This is the right side of the dress. So this is where I notch as my waistline. So three and a half inches from there to. I have three and a half inches. So we also do this for the front um, pattern. So the first thing I will do now is to go and sew it in this manner. Just um, join it to the bodies, sew it here, and also sew it here. Then I'll come back to show you the two and what to do next. So guys, I already joined the um, pocket. This is the front um, bodies. You can see the pocket, the right sides are facing each other. And for, this is for the back. Now the next thing I'll do now is to turn it to the wrong side so this is the wrong side and I will join the sides remember I left one inch size seam allowance so make sure the notch at the um, waistline match each other so so i'll take my one inch sizing allowance in this manner can you see can you see so when i get to the pocket area can you see i will stitch it through the pocket in like manner can you see it so when I get to the pocket area, the opening here, I will stitch it through the pocket. Can you see? And stitch it to the hem. So when you are taking your size seam allowance, when you are stitching your size seam allowance from the um, bust line here, 
don't take it through the don't stitch it through the pocket because you don't want to close the pocket up so stitch it through the pocket in like manner and stitch it to the hem so that's what i'll do for both sides as you can see make sure the pocket matches and stitch through the pocket in this manner to the hem which is what i'll go and do now so guys i already fixed the pocket to um the outfits can you see so as you can see let me so this is the right side can you see how it matches this is the pocket opening can you see and this is the hem you can see it all matches up together so the next thing i will do now is to go and fold in the hem i left on um, one inch allowance so i will fold it twice i'll fold it and also fix the um, sleeve so i'll be making use of this flutter sleeve which i already did a tutorial on that the link on how to make this flutter sleeve is in the description box below go and check it out so what i will do now is to take each and i also left one hinge um seam allowance so i will take the one hinge stitch it and connect it into i'll dip it into the ham hole right side facing each other so i will have to turn the the outfit to the wrong side so the right side can the right side of the sleeve will face the right side of the outfit then i will join the sleeve and i will fold in the hem and come and show you the final look so guys this is the final look of the inline dress that we made you can see the flutter sleeve which the tutorial to the the link to the tutorial on how to achieve this flutter sleeve is in the description box below kindly check it out and give that video a like can you see how everything aligns so what i'll do now is to give it a very good press and our outfit is ready can you see the pocket opening can you see it is it right here so this is the pocket opening can you see and also for the left side can you see so guys we've come to the end of today's tutorial i used um including the sleeve i used three yards of this african print fabric for this particular outfit so guys thank you guys for joining me i really appreciate if this tutorial has been helpful give this video a giant thumbs up like click on the like button and also if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please subscribe thank you i'll see you guys in my next video bye